and in what could come as a major relief for the Tatars and the lobbyists near Aradia, the CBI in its presentation to the Joint Parliamentary Committee probing the 2G scam has given a clean shit of sorts to the Tata Unitec loan deal. The investigating agency has also cleared near Aradia, who heads a public relations outfit. Due to lack of a criminal um, lack of evidence of criminal misconduct. However, there is more trouble brewing for SR with the CBI saying that they are investigating SR using Loop as a front for cornering 2G licenses. Mayur Sheikh is standing by with some of those details. Mayur, specifically what does the report say on that loan uh, deal between Tata's and Unitech? Uh, in fact, uh, this, uh, this will uh, definitely come as a huge breather as far as uh, Unitech is concerned because uh, the two issues under which uh, Unitech uh, was uh, be, uh, being probed, uh, the first issue was uh, that of ineligibility which has already been mentioned uh, in the first charge sheet and the second issue that had come to light was uh, the uh, loan transaction between Tata and Unitech. Now this is one particular transaction where uh, CBI has given an outright uh, out and out uh, clean check uh, to, uh, to this transaction and CBI has said that there is nothing in this transaction uh, which indicates at uh, uh, the fact that uh, Unitech could have uh, perhaps acted in concert uh, with Tata or uh, that Unitech could have been an associate of Tata in as far as uh, getting uh, the 2G license is concerned. Uh, um, but as far as Tata's are concerned, then there were three issues. One was the issue of dual technology. That's an issue on which Tata has been given clean check. The second uh, was the issue of loan transaction with Unitech, again on which they have been given uh, clean check. Uh, the third issue was the issue of uh, Volta's land building. That's an issue uh, which CBI says that it has still not uh, got to the roots of and that's an issue which... Uh, uh, continues to be um, under examination as far as uh, CBI is concerned. Uh, Lira also gets a major relief where uh, the CBI in its report to the JPC has said that they have not found any evidence of criminal misconduct in uh, as far as Lira is concerned. Uh, the one uh, corporate that, uh, that seems to have come under more scanner in as far as uh, this report is concerned is Loop and uh, on this front uh, CBI has said that SR could be using corporate wheel to be indirectly uh, holding Loop and uh, uh, the future course of action of CBI on this matter is dependent uh, on the response to the letter of gate that it has written to Mauritius which it uh, expects uh, to come uh, by the uh, last week of um, this month. Um, uh, adding further on this, uh, the CBI has further said uh, that as far as uh, and the, um, and the Corporate Affairs Ministry is also concerned. There was no uh, particular clean sheet from the Corporate Affairs Ministry. In fact, the Corporate Affairs Ministry note also suggests that there could have been a possibility of Loop uh, being a front officer. Now, all these uh, issues continue to be uh, noted by the CBI in its presentation as pending investigations and more clarity will they, uh, on this front will emerge when the CBI files a second charge sheet. Uh, CBI said that they will not be filing uh, the issue of uh, Loop uh, holding the SR as part of a supplementary charge sheet and this could be a completely uh, second charge sheet. Uh, so, more details will emerge at that point of time. All right. Maya, thanks so much for bringing us uh, those details on what the CBI told uh, the GBC today. We stood into a break at this point time for an interesting discussion lined up on the other side. When we come back, should bail be a right for 2G accused? We will be joined uh, by Dr. Subhuman Swami, President of Janta Party and Dushan Bhavi, and uh, who is a senior advocate at the Supreme Court. And Ramdev's threats of armed protesters doesn't go down well with the government. The Home Minister says the law will deal with such situations.